the uh, some motorcycle gloves that I bought recently. They are Speed and Strength brand Rust and Redemption series. Uh, I was looking around for some good quality gloves. Now, first of all, let me tell you what I look for. Uh, I look for uh, uh, the way they look. The appearance uh, has to be something that, that I, I'm going to want to put on and the functionality. So they have to have the padding in the right places and do what I expect them to do. The main thing is uh, if I uh, lay that bike on the ground uh, at whatever speed, I want to be able to have as much protection as possible. Uh, that means that my hands are going to be palm down, uh, trying to catch myself or whatever, or palm, you know, who knows what, what all. Uh, so uh, I've seen gloves with a lot of padding on the top, but very little on the bottom, or uh, you know, uh, any kind of combination. So uh, I was looking for something that looked good um, and something that uh, provided me the protection that I wanted. And these seem to do it. I, I think, first of all, the appearance of them is really, uh, really, well, strong. I, I, I think uh, when I picked them up, I like the way they feel in my hands. They're solid, uh, but you know, they're not winter gloves. They're, they're a little thicker than some of them. The textile gloves, you can get them thinner or maybe the mesh frame gloves. With, you know, you can still get good padding in them, uh, but they ventilate a lot easier. These have uh, little holes uh, uh, put in them and uh, that provides, uh, does provide a little ventilation. Uh, but these may be a little warmer than some people for the middle of the summer. Um, it's June as I record the video, and I've worn them uh, in the day and night. Uh, so far, they've been uh, very comfortable. Uh, I wear, uh, I've worn gloves uh, when it's hot for a lot of different things in the tactical community and, and whatnot. Uh, I've, uh, I've had to wear gloves for the sake of protection. Uh, and not warmth. And so I'm kind of used to this. If you're a motorcycle rider, uh, you're probably used to it as well. Uh, if you're not wearing gloves on a regular basis, uh, I, I think you should. Uh, you you got to protect yourself, man. All right, so uh, let's look at some of the features. Uh, first of all, the, uh, the, the stitching in them, again, makes them, uh, makes them look good. There's contrast stitching. So these gloves are black. You can also get them in a, like a, a, a weathered, brown or like a weathered, I think it's a, a, like a almost an olive color if you choose those. I almost got the brown ones just to, just for something a little different, but uh, I ended up going with these. They've got the speed uh, thing etched in the knuckle there. Uh, I really like that. The, uh, the, on, the, on the very top of it, uh, a couple of functionality features, you'll see that they're angled right here. Uh, and that's just uh, the way the curvature of the arm while you're riding. Uh, uh, they, they have cut out the unnecessary material. This is uh, lamb's, uh, 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 lamb skin, I think, uh, I, I believe, or, or goat. It's some kind of leather, not cow, uh, whatever that is. Uh, but it's good quality, solid leather. Um, they've cut it out here. They've got hook and loop fasteners uh, that are easy to adjust, um, you know, how tight or loose that you, you want them. Uh, at the top, this part is completely separate right in here, uh, in, in, like a little pocket. Uh, and so that provides for comfort when you move uh, your wrist. So like when I grab onto the, the throttle or you know the other bar, that, uh, that's very comfortable to do. Down in there, uh, it is kind of a, a, a window. So you can get a little air that way. In between the leather pads, uh, you've got some some, excuse me, some nylon so that the air can actually get in there and they breathe as well. Across the knuckles, you've got uh, reinforced padding, uh, good leather uh, uh, padding, and you can feel the foam protection on the inside. Um, they're hinged uh, in all the right places and all the knuckles you can see here, uh, they, they, they've got some hinging. In the bottom, they're, they're, they're pre-curved. Uh, so there's unnecessary, not any unnecessary gapping or anything like that. Uh, the top has uh, little pads right there, you can see. Um, so in the event that I were to lay down on the asphalt uh, sliding this way, uh, it's going to take uh, a little bit before it actually gets to my hand, and that's exactly what I wanted. Uh, on the other hand, if I were to fall and uh, I need, you know, I'm looking for padding on the bottom as well, You've got some reinforced padding, so you've got regular padding at the fingertips, but where uh, where the bar is and uh, where I would be putting my hands on the on the pavement, uh, right in here is reinforced. I think you can see that, 
and then at the palm, which is what I really like, is reinforced uh, because I think we underestimate how much pressure, uh, if I'm trying to hold myself up or keep myself from sliding, whatever it might be, uh, I want to hold, I want to make sure that that padding, uh, that, like that's going to be supporting a significant amount of weight. And so I've seen a lot of gloves that don't have any reinforcement in, in the palm. And that's one of the things I was looking for. This thing's had it, I'm sorry, this, uh, this pair has it. Uh, also in between here is a reinforced leather. So between the index finger and the thumb, uh, where, you know, where I'm going to do a, a lot of the gripping on the bar and stuff, uh, it's reinforced there. I the, the fingertips are reinforced, like on the thumb there, you can see. This is a good quality glove. It's a good, uh, good feeling glove. And I think it looks badass, to be honest with you. Like with the jacket and, um, uh, you know, like looking all bikish and stuff. And um, it's good, good looking, good functionality. Uh, these re retail for uh, the lower 60s, uh, so uh, 65 69 uh, at the time that uh, that you're watching this. Um, that may be a little pricey for some. Uh, it was a little pricey for me, but um, I ride quite a bit, and I ride in a lot of conditions, and uh, I've got a lot of other things to do besides riding. So if I were to be involved in an accident for whatever reason, I'm still gonna to want to go do other things and I wanna keep all my stuff intact uh, to do those other things. And this is uh, Speed and Strength Redemption Series gloves are gonna help me do that. So um, uh, check them out if you're in the market for, uh, for some good motorcycle gloves. They are Speed and, uh, speed and Strength, the uh, uh, Redemption motorcycle gloves. And uh, they've also got other lines of motorcycle uh, apparel as well. They've got some blue jeans that are, um, that are CE armored uh, and uh, they, they look awesome. I, I don't have any of those, uh, but, but who knows what, what the future holds. Uh, I hope this helps. If you're in the market uh, for gloves, check them out. And uh, I'll see you next time.